folks, I'm literally Hitler. And I'm in the doghouse because a bunch of retarded faggots said that I use offensive language. And they turned that into a Hitler thing. I see a bunch of Scandinavian politicians wearing pussy hats. I go, I want to join ISIS now. I want to kill them. I don't literally want to join ISIS, but you get the vibe. But the world is, seems blind to this. We just had the UN declare uh, Saudi Arabia in charge of the commission responsible for gender equality and the empowerment of women. I'm punching myself in the face. Can you believe that Saudi Arabia is defining equality? Guinness licked the man's face. I'm not calling the You just licked me. Did you see that? He just licked me. Oh, he licked me. He <laughs> licked me. Police! Police! So, I called her a FUCKING IDIOT! Well, I do think it's interesting because Gavin is in fact presenting what's wrong with masculinity right now. It's this insistence that things have to be a certain way. What does his evidence for that? He's I'm not that? insisting says, anything, wow. you fucking idiot! Oh, Gavin, take it, take it down. Oh, what's up? The shit is getting real, yo. The hijab is burning up. The hijab is rocking it. Hijab, hijab's rocking it. ISIS is rocking it. Islam's totally rocking it. Zit, 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 zit. Crazy dope mixes on the hijab dip. Yo, Sharia is rad. Sharia is dope, yo. That's what's going on right now. It's when we start punching, we're noticing a lot of them are women. They're putting women in their front lines. I did another video about this, but we started pulling off masks and we go, you're not a little brawler from the gym. You're a uh, Hispanic lesbian. What are you doing in the front lines? Why did your guys send you here? Oh, they're also these uh, dumb losers who just masturbate in their basement all day. Even when they show up with guns, you go, wait a minute, those look like BB guns. Those aren't real guns. And when they're confronted, they run away. They literally run away. Well, tough shit. <laughs> <Cool. Awesome. laughs> you guys are so ridiculous. After the Milo thing, we had Deplore Ball, where I said, yeah, I want to fucking go to that guy, and did a video about how fun it is to attack these people, and, uh... Uh, things started changing, I, and then you go, no, 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 they're not changing, Gavin. There was a shooting in Seattle at Milo's thing. Yeah, do you know what happened at Milo's thing? You know the real story behind that? Someone was punching, uh, people who want to attend his event with, with brass knuckles, and they kept punching people until one guy goes, I actually have a gun, Boom, and shot him through the stomach. So, we don't bring, uh, pellet guns to these things, we bring real guns, and when you pick fights with us, you get shot. You see, when you call everyone a Nazi, and then you say punch Nazis, you're saying punch everyone. Well, everyone punches back, and now they're getting their asses kicked, and we're realizing that freedom is a lot more fun than listening to a bunch of communists tell us to disavow capitalism and liberty. Uh, and then we had me at NYU getting pepper sprayed, which was really just me being mildly inconvenienced for 20 minutes. And then my guy staying outside just beating the crap out of everyone there. This mayday just went down and it is going down. Yeah, it was really okay. Nice try. I know the, what this means. We all know what this means. You tried to trick us because you think we're stupid because you think we're a joke. Well, we're not. This is clearly a W, and this is clearly a P. That means white power. So fuck that. And also, we're not stupid. We know what a glass of milk means. We know that that's a Nazi symbol because milk is white, and we saw you drinking white milk at that, that Shia LaBeouf thing. And then also, we know what this is. We know that's a Nazi symbol too. So you keep trying to trick us, and we keep staying one step ahead of you. Now let me explain what happened yesterday or, or a few days ago. It was May Day. May Day goes back to Chicago where we blew up some cops for being dicks and they murdered seven anarchists just because some international workers of the world wanted an eight hour work day. And since then it's become a celebration where communists who want full government and anarchists who want no government get together and celebrate all the stuff they have in common. I was watching Ellen in a bar the other day and they had wheelchair dancing. Did you know this is a thing? <laughs> Talk about so you think you can dance. You can't dance if you're in a wheelchair. I'm sorry. You're a valid human being. You deserve all the rights we have. In fact, I'm okay with places having to have ramps and stuff so you can get in. That's fair. That, that seems reasonable. But you can't dance. You need legs to dance. And if you go like this while someone else dances next to you, you're just a spectator enjoying a dance. Can you pull this up? This was a big deal on Ellen. I gotta be honest, this kind of reminds me of, uh, women in the workplace, <laughs> doesn't it?
When they when they're at meetings and stuff, and you go, yeah, okay, we can do that. I'll do all the heavy lifting, and you just sort of mimic what I'm doing. <laughs> but look at this terrorist who blew up Israeli teens and served ten years in prison. I assume they go, whoa, 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 what are we doing now? No, the hijab is on fire and it's made of polyester, so it's really burning up. And check out this first video. She be rocking that he hijab. She be rocking it. Hey, she stop, be, she stop. Be this is feminist dogma now. Beating a woman because she won't beat you. I'm sexist and I can't even handle Sharia law. All right, let's get back to this totally dope video. She be rocking it. Hate the way you talk. Parliament it. building, Joe. That's Homie, just paying for your that video, that I'm sure. Look at this. I'm oh, sorry, go back, go back, go back. I screwed it up by getting in the way. That's a, a Muslim woman on a skateboard. Muslim women don't ride skateboards. This is a myth. You don't see women wearing, first of all, you don't see women riding many skateboards, but wearing a hijab, just play that. By the way, I've listened to the lyrics. The lyrics say nothing. Okay, put me on blast. But you know we got class. This is for my sisters in the West. 2017. Right, that's enough. You want to kick us out, but you know we have class. I actually never really got into your class, whether you're classy or not. You're disproportionately a threat to the West. But anyway, let's hear her. Hear her. Totally dope job. <laughs> Yo, I'm pregnant, making more Muslims. We was born in the eighties, so pretty like the Euphrates and party like some Kuwaitis, deeper than some diplomas. Yeah, I'm not sure you're allowed to enjoy this music or even dance like that. Trauma. You want to talk trauma? You want to talk Orlando? Woman haters get banished, covered up or not, don't ever take us for granted. All around the world, love women. All around the world. All around the world, love women every shade and power run deep. So even if you hate it, I still rap. I'm hating. Yes, I know, that's my beef. I'm hating and you're still rocking the hijab. It doesn't belong in the Western world. It is from the cave days. This is why. Stop! This is why you suck. Get her hands off of my shoulders. We all think of fellatio when we see a straight guy with in a relationship with a woman in a wheelchair, right? I mean, it's, you can't not think of that. I'm not happy about that, by the way, but that's just a fact. What is it about people where they just clap at anything a handicapped person does as wonderful? Yay! That was good, that what you did. Look, standing over... Yay! So talented. No, that wasn't talented. The problem with being handicapped is you have to forgo some things. If you were best friends with someone in a wheelchair and you wanted to make your friends laugh, you and your handicapped buddy would do this as a joke, right? This is how you would make your friends laugh if you knew a handicapped person. And by the way, who doesn't want to know a handicapped person? That's cooler than a black friend. I want to have a, I want to at least have a friend with like a lobster claw. Everyone wants, you need that in your repertoire. <laughs> friends are baseball guards, you need some, some freaks in the mix. Look at this thing. Look at his pants. Bell bottoms are for people who pretend that paralyzed people can dance. Look at this. And the song, You Raise Me Up. You're just moving someone around in a wheelchair. Where? Was this more prevalent than a disgusting video made by Alex Jones? And I'm so glad his kids got taken away. <laughs> In your face, Jones. Um, and we, we did a talk, we, we did a, a part of the rally was in uh, uh, Austin, Texas, where uh, we were just minding our own business, trying to celebrate full government and no government at the same time, locking arm in arm, uh, you know, mobilizing ourselves for revolution and listen to what these jerks started chanting at us because they think it's funny. Do you have oh, you went full testosterone, your face. <laughs> what, what they haven't learned. Did you hear that? Go back to the beginning. Good to see Kafaya's in there, by the way. Maybe go back even a little more. Sorry about that. I you went full testosterone, your face. <laughs> what, what they haven't learned. Yeah, folks, that's right. 
We were minding our own business, trying to celebrate the free speech that you think is so important, and you came to our rally and you chanted, you're fags, go home, you have low testosterone. 